Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafty Dragon Creations. This is Stacy, and we are on, what is this, day 10, I think, 8, 9, we'll find out. <laughs> when we skip days or when you film ahead, you kind of kind of lose track. So, um, it's Defemorember. Um, again, if you don't know what that is, I will link Barbara and Louisa's videos below that explain what it is. Um, so let's find out what Effie has in store for us today. By the way, this is Effie, and he's become very popular this month, as he should, because he's so stinking adorable. So let's see what today brings. Oh, it's day 11. Woo! Okay. <laughs> so, Halloween meets Christmas. Alrighty. I think this is going to be another quick little video because I do have most of it uh, prepared. And doing quick little videos is, is much easier for me and my schedule, but I really want to do this. So let's set them aside. Oh, and also little Effie will be joining me today. So we'll set him over there. Okay. So Halloween meets Christmas. So I have this guest check that I've backed on some cardstock. Um, and this is one that I actually have in my um, Etsy shop along with several others. I think there's 12 or 15 total, but I'm going to use this one. So we're going to do a, an altered guest check. And joining us for the Halloween portion is this dude. I love this scarecrow. He's so cool. So um, I've uh, just cut him out. I backed him on some cardstock as well. Cut him out. He did have a, a big old hat on, but I cut the hat off. So we're going to use this guy. And to replace his big old hat, I've made him a little, little Christmas hat. So we're going to put that on there. And then I have some... Um, snowflakes that I had cut out for another project. Um, I have a third one. Yeah. So I have three black snowflakes because it's Halloween. Um, and then I have, this was some packaging from like a candy or something that I had last year. So I just cut a little strip, backed it on something. It's a little damaged, but that's okay. Um, and I'm going to stamp on here, and he is going to hold it. So he's going to hold a little sign. But I, I think I want to take some of this napkin, because this was actually some napkin that said Merry Christmas on it. I love the black and white Christmas stuff. Um, and I'm just going to kind of put this in the corner, just to kind of add some interest. Um, I think I'll just um, glue stick. So let's build this thing, shall we? All right. And kind of see where all I put my glue. I want it to rub down really good, but I'm being really careful because I don't want to tear my napkin. I think I got the glue all the way to the edges. So then I'm just kind of 
tear this off here. There we go. And I'll leave it kind of raggedy looking. Okay. So we got that. Now let me stamp on here so it has a little time to dry because this is kind of a a slick surface. Although I could kind of sand it. Maybe I should... Mm, nah, it'll be okay. I tested it out so it'll it'll be fine. But what I want to stamp on here I have these um, clickable letter stamps so it's going to say Merry Halloween. And I'm going to stamp it in black. I almost said, I almost put Happy Christmas, but I thought that was too, um, too much more on the Christmas side. So I wanted to put Merry Halloween. I thought that was cute. Okay, so there's that. I don't know if you guys can really see it. So there's Mary. Now I need my E on here to finish off Halloween. I love these these letters. It doesn't come with any numbers, so if you want to go purchase these, I, sorry guys, I I got interrupted. Um, I think I was saying these don't come with numbers, so if you want numbers, I think there's another set that does have them, but these are these are really great to have. Okay. So we'll put that away. So that says Merry Halloween. Alright, let me cover that up. So now let's put let's put our hat on our dude. Maybe. Okay. Left it open a little too long. There we go. <laughs> These are cute. Okay, then he will go here. Let's see, where do I want to put... Put that one up there. Maybe that one there. Maybe this one. Have these two kind of hanging off. Yeah, that's cute. And then... Ugh, him holding his little sign. Now I was thinking, also, he could be removable. So, I just wanted to put this down like a belly band, then he could actually be removable. I think that would be cute. I mean, I'm probably never going to remove him, but what do y'all think? I think that's cute, and that's I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna leave this on here, have him holding it, so I know about where to glue. Little 
longer than my my page there, but I think that's okay. I'm going to leave it. Okay, so he can be removed. Make sure that's on there. Make sure I put enough glue on there. Alright, also, I want to real quick um, ink this. What did I do with my areas? Nope, that's not the one. Well, let's do it with Grand Espresso. Yeah, kind of make it look dirty and Halloween-y. See, let me take him out real quick. Okay. Corners real good there. Okay. Now let's put him back in. Oh wait, let me ink around him a little bit. See some white showing. Okay, put him back in there. And then we'll glue on our snowflakes. Let's see, we wanted to put one here and ah, if he was trying to hide it from me. <laughs> I think I'll leave those hanging off. Might eventually at some point cut them, but right now I think I like them. That is cute. All right. Merry Halloween, everybody. <laughs> Even though Halloween is over, but that's my favorite holiday, so I was excited to do this one. All right, so nice, simple, quick, easy little ephemera piece. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, please give this video a like if you liked it. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see when I upload more videos. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.